Happy Sunday guys, uh, here we are today, got a special treat for you, I'm at and on location of uh, one of many forums vendors, Hey OK Performance, my friend Al. Uh, he's, I'm here to pick up some parts and uh, he's doing some work for me on a battery, let's check it out. Uh, for the heavy wire I use the big heavy tip, and it does a great job for the little jobs, I got the little tiny tip, yep. and uh, oops. Delete that one. <laughs> no, no, where it goes. That's what she said. I'm not sure I got enough heat on there or not. Doesn't look too promising. Do all lipo batteries have that little board in there? Not every one. Um, quite often they do, though. They use it to solder the tabs from the cells onto. Uh, I guess it keeps things neat and more rugged. Yeah, yeah, it looks yeah. I'm like not a happy good with quality. That. I'm gonna something or other. Clamp that in the vise. Right on. See, hey, okay, listens to a great station. I listen to the same thing in my uh, work vehicles. These guys are great. This is not your mom's hobby grade glue gun, people. Like, glue to the cows, come home. <laughs> All of his own woodworking to organize his tools. He knows where everything is here. There's a few of his boats up there. Pretty cool setup. Pretty cool setup. And then a lot of his little trucks here from over the years. Probably seen a few of them in my videos. Uh, you've probably seen a few of them destroy a few things. Oh, I remember this thing here too. That's a good one for when we were over at the. Uh, the dirt pile, I think. Look at that, what's that thing under there? You, you can tell me what that thing is about his drive shaft, holy smokes. You ever seen one of those? Right on. Don't mind the cobwebs. The cobwebs? <laughs> I don't see any cobwebs. Yeah, good. Right on. Alright, what is this thing again? So it uh, is for pushing log booms around inside the river and this, uh, all the drivetrains in my hand, but the uh, propeller hangs down the front and it makes it very maneuverable. They can steer it on a dime, and uh, the real ones have Let's some see the gears on the top there. Some sort of metal mess on the front for pushing the logs. So, this uh, is where the motor would hook on, and you rotate there, and it makes the, the prop turn. And, sorry, I'm running out of hands. <laughs> and then for steering, uh, well, the servo would move this, which let me put that. In. Yeah. Which will rotate that, and you get, you could have 360 out of it if you had a big enough gear on it. But anyway, as it is, cool. It's way around. So it's just waiting for me to get a motor on it. And that's fiberglass. These are my winch controllers. There's, there's two versions here. The ones with the black output wires are the regular six volt ones. The red ones are the HV version. I wouldn't really say high voltage, but you can call it that if you want. So this will run up to uh, you know, 12, 14 volts before it cooks itself. Uh, but keep in mind that your little winch motor probably can't handle that much voltage, but if you want to hot rod your winch, you'd use one of these. And 
Do you think it, it could probably last for a while though if you're like running that high voltage, right? Yeah, for a little while. Just burn it up. Broken. So I built in a servo tester and uh, I've made it up so it'll test my uh, servo, uh, my winch controllers. And the lights here, there's a white one and a red one, and they uh, help me know if the controller is working right. So this would be going one direction with the winch, and then I turn my controller and we're in the middle, the winch should be stopped, turn it some more, and the other light comes on, and the winch should be going the other way. So it's just a handy way for me to do testing as I build these things. Cool. It's in a nice old school kind of package. So this is custom. a little test jig I made for when I am making my electronics. I generally make my electronics uh, with uh, an item called a PIC, uh, Programmable Interface Controller, little little eight pin chip, and I write basically assembly assembler language, computer programming, and to uh, to do my winch functions. And sometimes I want to know if I I programmed it properly. So I just built this little gizmo, and it just lights up, and I can recognize the pattern the lights make to know if it'll work properly. Very cool. So high tech, I don't even understand it, but I'm glad you do because it makes all of our products work that much easier.